Some people I say look like Tom Cruise. Actually, no, sorry, I meant to say Chris Hemsworth. I got no Chris Hemsworth face. I don't even have the accent, but I got the bod. Show me your Chris Hemsworth pose. So Josh is really tired today. So he's feeling very lazy, and that's why he's not looking at the camera. Tell the camera why you're so tired. Too much mental exertion. He's mentally exhausted from all his studying. He's got study fatigue. I literally have been studying all week. Hi, honey. Hi. What are you working on? I'm studying for my aviation exam. What do you have to do to pass the test? I have to apply and pass and do a written and pass. Now are you going to be ready? I'm praying that I will be. And do you think you can do it? I think I can, yes. I'm proud of you. <coughs> Thank you. He's got steady fatigue. That's why he has got those big bags under his eyes. Oh my god. <laughs> I have no excuse for my bigs. I've been sleeping great. They're just permanent now. Welcome to the life of a nurse. <clears throat> so apparently I'm supposed to vlog about the mistakes I made on my flight today. There wasn't that many, just the one or two, but I need to learn grace for myself, as my wife says, because although I am a perfect man, I'm not a perfect man. And I do make mistakes, even sometimes very obvious, silly mistakes, as I did today. But there's Grace, and Kevin, my flight instructor, he's a good guy. Just for a quick clarification, for those of you who are very confused about the Kevin-Kevin situation, Kevin that was here tonight is Josh's BFF. Kevin that Josh talks about flying with is his flight instructor. They are two very different people. Was he with you today? No, I was solo. So I flew to Joseph Bergen back, which was 1.6 hours, something like that. It was very fun and I like flying. And so although I am still learning, I just need to be more attentive to detail. But like I'm such details as? Just starting the engine properly. Time for Words of Wisdom with Joshua McManus. So, a side business that I do for people is uh, I'm a dating expert. I'm kind of like the white version of Hitch. Like, I'm pretty much Will Smith. I don't have any successful clients yet, but I'm getting there. Mainly it's for Kevin. And I hope Kevin gets in this vlog again because I really like embarrassing him. It's quite fun. So, the wisdom of the day is this. You need to show your worst foot first and if she loves you with your stinky gross feet she'll love you through anything so today is gardening day and dad's here to give me a hand with plants in hand and chelsea's got a new garden hose because we seem to have misplaced the other one do you remember when you watched that part of the second episode and dad was tying trees that was our contribution of watering hose it became a very good a thing to hold trees with. That's what you told me. This is 15 to 0.25 centimeters, or 6 to 10 inches. Josh is flying a plane, and we're building a lovely backyard for Chelsea because her heritage has green thumbs. Even though mine are black. Ever since she was little, we used to always have plantings. And Josh doesn't know we're doing this, so it'll be a surprise. And we are using water, <laughs> which he doesn't allow. So we may have to use the bath waters that we are <laughs> saving, because that's the only way that these plants will survive in these circumstances. There is an actual water bound in Bannon in Sturgeon yeah, County. Yeah, it's called McManus. <laughs> but Morinville has free flowing water right now. There is no concern. This is even more, less water now available than Mozambique. <laughs> <laughs> and honestly, that's just been the testimony of God's faithfulness throughout this mission's journey and actually just throughout our marriage that, you know, we may never have more than we need, but we've always had more than enough in those moments. And so God has been so faithful. And I think that's just one of the ways God has been preparing us for this journey to be in ministry and to be missionaries is um, just that training over the past six years of our marriage that um, mm -hmm. there's always enough 
and God always shows up and he's never a minute late and he's never a dollar short. We're thankful for that. God's good, we're getting to Moz. Speaking of faith, we're so excited and I'm gonna be so brown because I burn like a, well, I'll be red then turn brown. It'll be good. <laughs> I'm about to say something really stupid. <laughs> how does a British person... How does a British person say watermelon? 